Legend of Total War here with part 8 of my uh, Total War Rome 2 Hannibal at the Gates Let's Play campaign as Rome. Alright, so previously we destroyed the Numidians and we took Car New Carthage, which we... It was a bit of a costly victory. We lost one of our units, but they lost more than we did. They had a lot of sacred band. They're all dead now. And our army is going to become even cheaper. Good, if we can make our guys even stronger. So that provides us with weapon damage as well. So let's just see what their stats are at the moment. So 63, just looking at this one particular, 63 melee attack, 63 melee defense. All right. Uh, what's the weapon damage? It's 36. All right. We hunger for battle. So 66. So it gave them a tiny bit extra melee attack. And their weapon damage has gone up by two. So yeah, it wasn't a huge amount, but could be a difference between life or death for them later down the track. Okay, good. Let's build. Now, the Aravaki, they seem like they're fairly strong. Hey look, my reliability is improving. That's interesting. Okay. Celtiberia. We can we contact with these? Talk, I'm sure. They like us. Why do they like us? Probably because we've wrecked Carthage. Yep. Penalties do we get from this? Expansion is a minus 25 with all factions, plus 25, sorry, plus 20% 20 public order due to presence of local cultures. Minor increased influence per turn for in political party. Yep, yep, yep. That's all good. How much corruption do we have? Because I know it's very easy to negate corruption in this just by increasing the tax rate. 56%, yeah, but our taxes are at 79%, so it's all good. Alright. I guess we could declare war on them. I mean, we could certainly hit this. Yeah, let's do it. We, otherwise, we've just got these three armies here doing nothing. So they're allied with the... with those fuckers. Let's see if they... You are welcome. If they help each other. Good. Our warriors grew restless. Cutting your throats will be an end to boredom. Laying siege to the settlement! Forgive me, but I cannot. None will escape! Yeah, he do it by himself. We send these guys in to help, and that'll obviously reduce our casualties. We don't need to fight this manually. At your command. I really don't need to be looting any settlements. I don't know why I still do it. Don't need any of this shit. Okay, now since we went to war with them, we gotta be careful. Okay, there's no way they can get to us in a single turn. You come over here. Like, I'm pretty confident that I don't have anything there. But keep an eye on them. Because the thing is with large empires is they... They, uh, they tend to have their forces spread out all over the place. This is why being on the defensive is not a good thing, because and why attacking is being on the good. Because, look at that, they, they couldn't defend or predict that I was going to do that. So that'll improve our horses. That's useful. And, yep. We could have another base of operations, I don't see why not. Public order is still good. I mean, look at that. It's because of all the global bonuses that we've got. At your command. Make haste, men. All right, where's my spy? Down here. I might actually keep you down here. Hang on, what's this? Transports. They were trying to get away. If they come back over here, I'm just fucked. I won't be able to stop that. It's too many of them. Alright, what we do in this instance is just leave, abandon the city. Just forget about it. Oh wait, I was just, just demolishing the entire thing. Yeah, demolish the entire fucking thing. If they come over here and take it, um, they'll take it without a fight. And that's fine. You should sabotage him so he doesn't catch up to us. If he doesn't take it, that's great as well. But I gotta get him some reinforcements. 
Actually, would they even be able to make it back? I mean, they're on Force March there. They wouldn't be able to make it back. Alright, so actually stay in there, Scipio. Take a bit of a chance, but I think he'll, he'll be fine. All good, we got a little bit of money left over. Let's build some more stuff and then move on. Fuck off. I thought I could give these guys a little bit of a break. I guess not. Alright, now we've actually got... Oh, we've got the general here. He won't die though if we lose. I don't see us winning this one because I don't have enough boats. I should have recruited a few more. Um, we're only going to have a couple of shots on these artillery. We'll do what we can, obviously. If we don't win, we don't win. It's okay, we've got another navy in, in recruit. We already took out one of their navies, so they've, they've done their worth, despite the silliness of traversing the Mediterranean the way I did. But I know not to do that again. It's an idiot who traverse, who does something wrong and then repeats that mistake. Everyone makes mistakes. Alright, so... Um, so, yeah. Everyone needs to be ram mode on. Try not to die. So as for you, let's just wait until the very last second before you charge in on them. If you can even just take out two ships, that'll be better than nothing. Yeah, now we don't, I don't think we can, yeah, we can't use flaming shot. The fuck? You stupid defaulted shit. There's still so many bugs in this game. Alright. Go ram into them. F Flaming shot's not available. Unless you auto default to it. Oh yeah, don't worry, there's no bugs in Rome 2. The game is perfect. Good job. But there are other things to worry about as well. Okay, so far so good, I th think somewhat. Oh, come on, you need to ram into it. Our men flee no. the field of battle. This is a shameful display. Actually, you. I'm going to put you on this. Send him in there. Our a little bit. Attack. Just a few things at a time. Because obviously I still want to try and use up as much of my ammo as possible. Good job. I might actually just do this. But I'm walking out of this one without a few casualties, obviously, though. Sacrifices need to be made if we're going to win. What the fuck are you doing? An entire unit has perished. You, you're next. Go and destroy them. Their Libyan javelin with oh yeah you get over here because you can kill them. Next, shit, get over there. Don't have much ammo left, but that's okay. I might as well just disband. Oh, then again, I'm, not, I'm building a new navy. Uh, port here, I think. 
new military wharf. They've only got four ships left. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Oh, my fucking admiral. They bombed him. Oh well. Should have made use of him while I had the chance. An entire unit has perished. There's a chance he'll still survive though, because admirals are notorious for just living despite drowning. Or being completely wiped out. You're the only one left with ammo. Blow it up. So I've got five ships left. It's not good. Without ammo, we're not really doing anything. Oh, that was, that was just a fucking love tap. You've got to ram them. I don't think this guy's shooting. You bloody just get in there and do it. Another one's getting in there. Come on, you can take this out. Good. Just two more to go. Bit late on the gun on that one. Oh, good. It's freed up that guy that's routed, but that's okay. Alright good, all, all that's left is that javelin man, which it's all up to him, see if the general's bodyguard can take him out. Uh, you can't go in loose formation can you? And that happened to be their general too, uh, that's just great. One of our units has used all its ammunition. If he doesn't succeed, it's, it's not going to work. Haven't shot off any shots left. As long as I don't shoot any shots, we should be fine. That charge was really shit. Victory! Victoria, lead us. Still, we got them in melee. That's to our advantage. Yeah, they're not doing anything to us. We got this. That was close though, really fucking close. It seems like our Admiral survived as well because he's... We didn't get any notification of his death. Yeah, very costly. <laughs> We're running out of ships. But we, we repelled them yet again. So now we're seeing the real resistance of Carthage. Where the hell is Hannibal? No, he did actually die. Alright, fair enough. We're not enemies with these guys, why are they doing that to me? Well, I don't care, I'll still go kill them too.
Yeah, whatever, they're all the same. Roughly. Yep, because I like to have it all under my control. So what are we up to now? 80% medium civil war chance, but no, no sign of a civil war. Okay, so these guys here, we're just going to bypass Isle because we've got other guys preparing to defeat it. These guys here could probably go in and fight them if they need to. Yeah, there might be a little bit of resistance here, but hopefully if I just perform a little bit better than I did last time that we use these, we'll be okay. Okay, you'll, you'll be safe to hold on to this now. Because the garrison, yep, full garrison there now. So, no problem. Okay, what, what's going on here at Saguntum? Oh, that's right, I was going to build um, Military Wharf here. Rather than send them all the way from from Corrales. Jeez, it's taken them a long time. I, maybe if I could research extra naval recruitment capacity. Oh, it's all the way over here. It's alright. Okay, so we've got two armies on their way down here from the Iberians. And there's two more over here. Good. Okay, I want you to come back over here. Prepare the defenses, I suppose. I don't think these guys here... Yeah, they're not going to be able to meet up with them. So if anyone's going to attack us, it's just going to be them. I guess we'll just wait and see. Okay, we should probably assassinate this guy before they um, start recruiting. I want to chase after this guy, but he's just going to fucking hide just be an absolute nuisance. I could just stay here for the time being and recruit more troops. I don't know. I don't really want to keep these elephants. Yeah, I could use better horses. Because the elephants are just... They're, they used to be invincible. They're not anymore. And they're... For the price that they have to... We have to pay. Considering how many um, javelin men are all over the campaign, it's not worth it. They just die instantly to javelins. Okay, so your job pick up a few prinker pays to send over to Scipio. But also keep a few extra just in case. Right, I want you to head over here and you defend this. There's no defenses here. But, you know, we'll have access to the walls if they do attack. He's at full strength. But yeah, Africa will be conquered before Iberia. Then we we'll just storm into Iberia. It should be easy. No, I don't need that. Can't do anything without timber. That's fine. I'm happy to leave that as it is for now. It's, ma it's making quite a lot of money. That's right. We're waiting for. Hang on. I do have access to slave trader. We just need the money. So what's our research rate at the moment? Two hundred sixty-one percent. Making an absolute fortune. And it's not like I'm not recruiting any more troops. I have been. In fact, oh no, I'm already recruiting from this section here. 
All good. Let's move on to the next turn. Not really a particularly aggressive turn. But I couldn't really do anything about that. Actually, one last thing. This guy here. If there is anything that we could do, possibly, to just buff his forces. Even just a couple more ships would see him last a little while longer. Do nothing, it's just minus 44 gravitas, I don't care. So we don't actually lose influence from that. Boring. Alright, so what are we doing now? This guy here should be able to take on Iol, no problem. Go do that. Yep, no problem, that's great. I look at 96% remaining forces. Sounds good to me. I'm not gonna fucking manually resolve if I can get those kind of results. So we've got the die works, plus four public order or all provinces. Jeez, don't just keep throwing public order at me. Actually, that's heaps. That's more than like other things do. Does that get to a level four? I don't know. Doesn't matter. Uh, demolish this. Actually, convert that one to this and demolish that. And upgrade this, and that, and this, and that, and we're done there. Okay, we should be pretty much safe to force march a bit further. Okay, now this prick here, he might hit Satifi. I'll have to, I'll have to stay here and hit them from both sides. If he hits this region here, I'll be hard pressed to win. I wouldn't say it's impossible, I just think it'd be difficult. There you go, here comes your reinforcements. Good, back to full strength. Now you have to go back over there to go recruit the rest of your army. Okay, this army here. I reckon we can beat it. It's in a fort, so that shouldn't be too hard. What are the odds? Should we order resolve it? Because the thing is, anything that we lose, we can just get back in this region here. It's pure victory, remaining force 50%. 50% is actually quite a lot, so boom. I probably could have done better, but I'm lazy. Finish him off. Mm, should we or should we not? Yeah, finish him off. Yeah, very high remaining force. Might lose a unit. No, we didn't. It's all good. See, why, why risk anything when you've got a, an instant win card right there? Looks to me like they might try and hit that region, so I'm just going to back off from that building. I mean, if they take it, it's just it's going to be their own funeral because I will come for them. For 
So he's coming over here, but we've got access to him. I don't know where the other army went. But that's okay. So sabotage him, if you can. Yeah. Upgrade them, and let's go hit them. Jeez, odds are massively in our favor. It's because they've got... Yeah, Iberian swordsmen are fucking shit. Should be safe to stand there. I mean, they could have another army hidden somewhere, but I don't see it. Of course, because if it's there, it's hidden. Okay, now you keep going along this way. So I want to finish up in Africa, take out all of that, and then start moving in here. And then just conquer the rest of it. Then we're done. I might get this done by episode 10 if I keep this up. There's no real resistance. I mean, I, I can afford three times as many troops as I've currently got. Anyway, let's move on. What are they doing? Yeah, it's their own funeral for doing this. Scipio's gonna wreck him. Not to mention we've got another army right here as well, so we're gonna outnumber them, so order resolve should be pretty easy. And they don't get the option to like to sack and run away, they have to occupy it. Also, if I send my spy over there to, to sabotage them, then they'll be in a weakened state, reducing my casualties even further. Yep. Good stuff. Very good. Getting a bit of luck in there. Bad luck for the AI. Who got wounded? I think one of my champions is no big deal. Alright, so what happened here? A member of my family has been dabbling in surgery. His skill was enough, blah blah blah. I hate these shit. Hide him. We hunger for battle. So it looks like this guy here got hit. Oh, he, he, he got sabotaged, he can't move at all. So I guess he's not coming to help. That's okay. We can have our best spy do it to them. Good. Totally wrecks their army, lost more than half their forces probably. And then it's an easy wipe them out. And that settlement was not worth them losing that army, because that is of no strategic value to them at all. Didn't even lose anything. I think this guy just instant recovers or something, because he's he gets killed and then he comes back straight away. Oh, 
fucking immortal. Okay, it'd be great if you could actually make it there. Ah, uh, almost. Um, I don't know if it's a good idea to force march there, but I'm going to. If I get ambushed, I get ambushed. Not a big deal. Alright, he's clearly trying to get away. We have to stop him. Now, I've got an ancient over here. If you could sabotage him, that'll obviously slow him down. Oh yeah, when that's done, that's really going to reduce... My income, uh, my upkeep costs. Well, actually, it's not that much because it doesn't cost that much to begin with. It's all quite cheap. So I can't get Praetorians. Best I can get is um, Triari, which I don't even like. I wonder if they perform well in order reserve. You'd think they would because they they um, have extremely high melee defense and armor. What's wrong with this settlement? It doesn't have all the build slots. It's almost like a minor set on it. Whatever. I think it's for such a small region. That's actually the s smallest amount of regions I've ever seen. Uh, a smallest amount of um, building slots. It, in grand total, seven. It's over across two regions. It's crap. Alright. What am I doing? Okay, yeah, get rid of him. I mean, just sabotage him so he doesn't do much. Ugh, you piece of shit, you failed me twice in a row now. Okay, he won't be able to get anywhere this turn, so just stay there and recover. See that army there. Well, if you can beat him, great. If you can't, well, you can't beat him, so it's alright. Well, if 50% gave us a good victory, then 58% should be fine. I might not pursue him, I just leave him be. Because I want to I don't want to lose any battalions. Okay, I think that's all I need to do for- oh, hang on, what about- what about my navy? Two more turns and then they can start getting their way over here. A few turns until you can start recruiting some proper ships back in- and I'll disband this crap because that's too small. Moving on. I don't think you need to be here anymore. But trying to get you, trying to keep up with everything, it's just, I just keep moving across it all so fast. Oh well. Don't mind if it succeeds, as long as it's not critical success, so I can't fucking move. Then again, he might be able to make it there. Ah, piece of shit. Although, that settlement will have the wood that we need to get level 4 um, dry dock or whatever the fuck it is. God damn, I'm talking about ancient fucking actions. Fuck that, who cares? Yeah, 
Yeah, it's not that bad. It's not that great either. But. Yep, so critical success on us there, and... That sucks, but we can't do anything about it. Anyway, with more of our guys coming over here, they'll need even more agent actions if they want to get to us. Okay, tell me that was at least critical. Yeah, at least the best that we can get. Alright, get right up in his face so that he can't move. Okay, you're pretty much at full strength. What's out here? We've got transports. Alright, I want you to go, go crush some stuff. Okay, Scipio, just wait here. Actually, you can stay in this region too, because soon we'll have access to, to better troops here anyway. So we've still got to wait one more turn for that to be built. So, they're raiding. No big deal. Take them out. That did a lot of damage. If that army dies, we've got a free run straight to their capital. Alright, let's do that. Gee, they recovered really fast. You head over there. You'll be able to hit Pal uh, Palantir next turn. Um, there's nothing stopping us, I suppose, from recruiting another army. Three turns and then they'll move out and continue to conquer Iberia. Now these guys are on the border here, that could be a problem. Alright, now they've done agent actions on us before, so let's sabotage them. They're clearly an enemy. They need to be punished. An enemy that just hasn't openly declared its hostilities. Okay, now then let's just build. Okay, so there's the Pantheon there. Yeah, that's good for this region because this is where we are using the tax harvesting thing. And it's one of our richest regions. Not taxing this region. And yep, uh, we're out of money. Okay, moving on. What the fuck? What's going on here? Where is this? Regent Sega, the... These guys are fighting... Oh, hell no. They're going to... The Lusitani are trying to take the settlement. No, I'm not helping them. There is a time when warriors must sheathe the sword and talk for the good of their people. I'll accept it, just so it lowers their guard. And then, of course, we'll kick him in the ass again later. There is a time when no, because they're dead. They can't do anything to stop the coming storm. agent action, but that's alright. These guys here, they couldn't, they didn't know where to go. And that's fine. Time to wipe them out.
That's it, because the eastern part of the African province is all under control. Okay, so they've taken it, which means we need to declare war on them. Because that was by right mine. If you could hunt down this, that would be very useful to us. Hopefully we're not taking attrition going through here. We took a small amount, but we'll recover it before we get anywhere. Okay, so, okay, now we've got access to all the ships that we need. So get rid of this garbage. It'll obviously take them a little while to get back to where they were. But that's okay. There doesn't seem to be any more Carthaginian threats in the area. Like I said, they can't do jack shit. It was coming for them this turn. If they weren't going to offer me money, there's no point accepting the peace treaty. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, well that's not good. So you, I really need you to succeed or else we're going to lose the settlement. Ah, oh, piss. Alright, you're going to have to force march. Now, if we get caught in ambush dance, that's going to really suck. So, so they're going to take Iruna. We can't do anything about that, it seems. But we can take it back straight away. Actually, hang on, let me see here. What I can do... If I bring him up there, he might just be able to defend it. Even though we've only got one fucking Principe. Oh, we're at our limit. Okay, it's just a temporary solution until he's defeated. Have we really got 12 fucking full stack armies? Let me just check this. Where, where are my armies? Oh, yeah, you. That's okay. I want to leave him there. Oh, yeah, you as well. Okay. Good, we'll be able to get the cavalry as of next turn. Grab that just because I said so. But yeah, we've got to declare war on the Lusitani. I can't forgive this. He won't be able to move, but that's fine. You will. We don't need need them to come in and help, it just gives them a bit of extra experience. Still no sign of a civil war. I think I think it's a bit of bullshit. It shouldn't actually be saying there's medium civil war chance if it isn't actually enabled for the campaign. Loggers, yep, yeah, repair and repair. They must have raised it to the ground or something. Yeah, we've, we've got this campaign under control. What do we need for victory conditions, anyway? Let me have a look. Okay, for military victory, we need control 50 settlements, tick, completely control the following. So we just need Hispania Ulterior. Got that. There is no economic or cultural victory in this. It's okay, we'll go for whole map completion, because like, by the time you get military victory, it's like, there's four settlements left. I might even be able to do this by next episode. If I order resolve at all. It depends on how much resistance we get from... What's their face? The Lusitani. Which, who knows. They could be tough, they could be weak. But yeah, 
Just to make a note in regard to the beginning of the campaign. What the fuck is this? Why would they do this? It seems so silly. Auto resolve, obviously. Legend of Auto Resolve here, with some more auto resolves because the AI is retarded. Sure, I'll accept that, but um, it's not going to deter me from attacking them. Where is this? So they came back to- oh, they hired all the mercenaries, but still, wasn't enough to stop me. Ah, oh, damn it. Well, good thing we've got barracks nearby. I probably wouldn't have done much better- oh, hang on. Alright, so we do actually have to fight this manually, and they, they hired a whole bunch of mercenaries. Maybe I should have hired them. Wait, did they really hire mercenaries or did they have them like... No, they had them like that before, because otherwise they'd be at full strength. Most of their forces are complete garbage. The problem is I've got a lot of cavalry. The cavalry's not going to be that useful. Whatever, let's do this. So we'll probably want to get our cavalry out of the city. So those three there probably consume me the most, alright. Let's see. So they've come from over this angle. If we get our cavalry out of the city and we charge into those those uh, Skotari, they can't get up on the wall. If I lose if I lose a bunch of guys, who gives a shit? Alright. It's so easy just to recruit more. I don't know where I'm going to put you. I'd like to put them a bit better than that. But nope, I can't seem to get any better than that. It's only enough for three wide. So, yeah, try and bomb some of the... Uh, some of the, the, uh, the towers. If, if uh, The fewer of them that get up here, the better. Put our guys up on the wall. I prefer the Rarari to, to be up here first. Because they're shit. You guys stay down here. Don't fire at will. Plebs shouldn't even need them at all. These guys, stay down here. Use them if all else fails. Because the thing is, if we destroy all of their their ladders, and they have to go through the boiling oil, which is... You just... you can't get through it. So yeah, charge into the flanks. I think we can destroy that one. Maybe we should be using flaming shot. Okay, we got the cavalry coming in over here. All right, charge, counter charge back into them. No, see, that was way less accurate. We, we didn't even hit, make land a hit on that one. Motherfucking javelin cave. Piss off. Come on, surely you can destroy one of these. I don't think they're exactly aiming for the the ladder. We'll try for a aiming out this way. Yeah, keep chasing that down, it doesn't matter if you get killed. Just focus on winning. Advance at speed. 
catch him good. Hopefully you can actually beat them though. Get back. Get back up here. So it's not even slowing them down. But it is it is killing some of them. But yeah, they'll definitely get the ladders up on the wall. Good, our guys are going to win that. Okay, yeah, I just want them to bomb the general area. And you can go ahead and use explosive rounds, because I don't want them exactly to be too accurate. It's got a reduced range. That's fine. Okay, get back, because you're not winning that. Okay, well, at least that takes care of their cavalry. Yeah, I think it will. So they got a few kills, not heaps. Let's just hope they get a few more with this. Oh shit! Fucking javelins. Oh, they actually dropped that ram. Good, that'll slow down the rate at which they get us at least. We'll get up on the wall. Actually, we could probably charge in on that. They're just Iberian swordsmen. It's not like they're spearmen. It's just... Really, equities are not great. Oh, they're actually coming down off the wall. That's why they're, you know... Instant death for them. So how'd that go? Yeah, the charge seemed to have got them. Good, they're getting heap of kills. Yeah, they're coming up on the walls now. I'm trying to. Yeah, we're trying to fire at the ground. One of our units has used all its ammunition. See, after the charge. Yeah, the cavalry just don't do shit. They just sit there. Too many people complain about cavalry being OP. Cowards. Well, I didn't expect Rorario to really do much better, but... I was hoping they would. So let's just hope these two Prinkipades can. Alright, I can't really get any more out of these um, ballista. They, they killed a bit. Ah, oh, fuck's sake. What are these? Iberian skirmishers, go kill them. If we want to win this, we kind of need to really make use of everything we've got, so we just have to keep charging in. What is this? Iberian swordsmen, go kill them. Our general is under attack. them if you could. Just trying to shoot my own troops if you wouldn't mind. Seems like that's going well. So this unit here shattered, get rid of them. So we just have to fight them again someday. Damn it, you're a goddamn coward. So yeah, they're getting loads of kills. They're getting more kills than most other units. Fucking levies. Well, actually, those Prinkipes got a lot of kills very quickly. Jesus Christ, how long does it take to kill a few Iberian swordsmen? These guys are supposed to be complete trash. You guys are seriously struggling. That's what I'm saying. Cavalry in Rome 2 used to be super powerful, now it's like fucking worthless. It's all about the charge. If they can't win on the charge, you gotta fucking get them out of there. Three loads of cav have essentially tried to kill this one unit of trash infantry. And don't forget all the, all the upgrades that they've got. So that's really bad.
Both my infantry are performing. This is why I don't recruit loads of cavalry anymore. anymore. I used to recruit heaps of cavalry in Rome too, but they just nerfed it right into the ground. Tons of them over here. Maybe shoot them. Uh, no, I think we got a better angle on them over here. shots left. Yeah, aim, aim for these noble fighters. And although I probably shouldn't do this, but yeah, aim for aim for them. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Ready for duty. Forward. As you come up. Forward. Yeah, even if we just get a couple more kills, well, it's better than nothing. Damn it, they're out of ammo. Maybe get off explosive shot, just use standard shot. If those guys got blown off the wall, yeah, I don't think they're gonna live. Destroy the arrow tower if you can. It's gonna kill. No, 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 no! Don't do that. Because no, it will destroy more of my guys. I think. I got a Prinkipe unit here. They'll get wrecked. So, yeah, they've only killed 22. That's garbage. This guy's doing really well. It could just be that he's up against weaker units. You're gonna have to get back up on the wall, actually. I don't think the next episode is gonna be the final one. I've right, still got a fair bit to, con to conquer. The sooner they can be done here, the sooner they can move over here to, to help them. So he's definitely got a good amount of kills, but not as good as them. Because, of course, they've got the noble fighters to deal with. Another thing I could do is actually dismount off my horses. Because they're not really going to be of much further use. But then they're just going to act as really crappy spearmen. I'm not 100% confident on this battle at the moment. It's, they're still outnumbered by a lot. Now guys here, yeah, it comes down to this unit here. If we had killed them out here, it would have made a big difference. I can't match up with that. Whatever the case, they've lost the majority of their army. They'll hold onto this for like less than a turn. I'll take it straight away off them. And this guy here, he's brand new, so it doesn't matter. We shouldn't give up just yet. I mean, this guy's still ripping them to shreds. This guy is getting ripped to shreds. Return to bombing them. Okay, you guys are gonna have to get get off your mounts, get up here and fight. Because you can't get back in here while they they've got control of well, while it's neutralized. Really?
Okay then, maybe, maybe there's hope after all. Still get over here. I mean, the um, the other troops are only oh, sorry. Recruitment is only uh, one province away. just to add numbers, make them feel overwhelmed by the situation. Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shame. It's just one of our Rorari, right? Of course, they're not crucial. So they just lose their charge bonus by dismounting. But it's not like they're good units, but bring them over here because we got to win. It looks like the only thing that's left is this general and he's about to break. So good, we have won the battle. An entire unit has perished. It's just Rorari, right? Don't tell me I have to bring my general in here. Was this guy come back? Oh, no, he's run away. It's fine. Fighting happens so slow. It used to be much quicker. I mean, the javelin stuff, that's... You know, just shoots right through units. But the actual melee fighting is much slower now. This guy here is possibly going to break. And, and you still outnumber him. Alright, get the plebs up here as well. Fuck it. Don't tell me we're going to lose to just this last unit here. Everyone, it's, we've got to go all in. Even if you die, you have to you have to come and fight. Seems like the the Pringer Bays are the ones taking the most damage. Oh, that's their unit right here. I see. I'd kill for just a few more shots of javelins. To go with them. These noble fighters, they do not want to give up or die. <laughs> the plebs actually got a few kills, so that's not too bad. Just a few of them left. You can do this. Actually, what I'll do, because this guy's exhausted, pull him over here. Just have him rest. He'll fight a lot better that way. Because I've got 60 of them. Just let them grind him down for the time being. Keep him exhausted. You guys rest. The enemy general is dead. Well, that definitely helps. I don't care if I lose my entire army. we got to win this. They're not feeling too good about the situation. Yeah, they're even the the plebs, they're doing a bit. Just part of the garrison, doesn't matter.
good. With them Our recovering their fatigue, the they might battle. actually be able, able to uh, be stronger than them. Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. All right, they're fresh. Back in you go. Now, actually, do some damage Our to them. Men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. We send our generals in last. So what does it say about him? Winning decisively. Well, that's a good sign. Good. Fuck it up. They lost more than we did. And our army is actually still intact. Well, the other... Uh, the other what's it called? Um, Principe, that was part of the garrison. So that's fine. Yep. And uh, only that Roario there was destroyed. So yeah, obviously execute them. Only one of those fuckers got away. But now we should be able to go up, up after them next turn. There shouldn't be any more... Um, any more... Uh, mercen oh, they've got a whole bunch of mercenaries. Doesn't matter, we got this guy here. Finish him off. Should just about be the end of the. Um, the vi I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. Anyway, that's the end of this episode, guys. So, like and subscribe. Part 9 is next. And don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.